If you want to make fantastic, consistent characters using AI, stay tuned. So this is an absolute game changer for things like kids' books, coloring books, pretty much anything that you'd want to generate using AI if you're looking for consistent characters throughout. Now, first of all, we're gonna come on over to my favorite text -to image AI software, which is called Design. If you watch the channel regularly, you've probably seen me use this before, but if you come on over to Design, it looks like this. So you can see here straight away on the front page, they're looking at this consistent character tool, which is what we're going to look at today. And it is incredible how powerful this tool is. So to get started, all we're gonna do is look at a new project. We're gonna give our project a name and we can set the aspect ratio. So I'm gonna do a one by one kids book here. But if you wanted to do an eight by five, a six by nine, you can set your aspect ratio here to whatever you want. If you've already got a model that you like and you wanna use, you can just upload it here. But first of all, what we wanna do is click this character button. And so you can see here, you've got three options. You've got the consistent character, which is where you'd use your character created sheet. You've got your character sheet, which is how you can generate your character. And then you've got your insert character feature here, which I'll show you later, which is inserting your character into an already existing image. So to start off, all you need to do is click on this character sheet. So on here, you can select the style that you're looking for. So design has some fantastic presets here that will help you to get the look and feel that you're looking for. Or you can use Design General or Flux if you wanna be a bit more descriptive with your prompts. But as we're going for a really nice 3D style image, we're gonna use this Design 3D Render version too. You can also favorite them, you know, if you find your favorite ones that you wanna use at another point. But to start with, we click here. Then what we wanna to do to create our character is we need to describe it. So now you need to come up with your idea for a character. So I'm gonna create a kid's book character here. And so it needs to be something a little bit fun, a little bit playful. So I thought about what if there was a bear that's yellow because it loves bananas. <laughs> so it's a little bit silly, right? But we'll call it Barney the bear who loves bananas. That's a relatively straightforward, simple kid's book idea. And then the idea behind it will be that all the other bears are brown, but he's yellow, he's different, he stands out because he loves bananas so much. But that's a random idea, but this AI tool is gonna to help me to make it. So all we need to do is describe our character. So there we go. That is one idea for the character sheet. And then in a few seconds, design is gonna generate that character sheet for you. Here we go, here's a few options to begin with. So this one might work quite nicely. The cool thing about the character sheet generation rather than just using an image is you'll get the front, the side and the back and then you can always edit an area if you don't like it or you can go again. I made one earlier that I absolutely love but if, for example, we really liked this idea all we would then do is click this build character button. All you do is click this number two button here, give your character a name I'm gonna call it yellow test. And then you click train. So that's gonna train the AI to basically build that into a full character that you can insert into other images. And your character will appear here. And when you're happy with your character and design AI is finished processing with the training side of things, you can click this consistent character section. On here, all you need to do is choose your character. So we're gonna go with Barney the Bear. And then you need to put in your action and your scene. So this section up here, you need to keep this the same. That's the description of the character you're using, unless there's something random that changes, like his eyes change color or something like that, then maybe you'd add that in there. But in terms of the action and the scene, you add that in here. So I've put something a bit silly in here and we're gonna click generate and see what it comes up with. And so just for reference, just so you can see, this is the Barney the banana loving bear that I came up with using that character creation suite. And so this is what he looks like. And we'll see when we generate the scenes that the character stays really consistent. So if we come back to design, this is what it's come up with. We can double click to put this on canvas. And you can see here, here's Barney in the swimming pool with a banana. And so if we like that, all we need to do is save it as an image. Else we can do variations, we can enhance and upscale it. And we can even insert another character if we want to. 
And so that's how easy it is to use those consistent characters in various settings. So let's do another one. So for this one, we've put Barney the bear asleep in bed with a banana pattern bed sheet. So the more descriptive that you can be, the better that this will turn out as. But let's see what this one comes up with. Okay, and here's the two options that it's come up with for Barney in bed. <laughs> I could have been a bit more descriptive. I could have described the bed. I could have described his smile. Maybe he's not grinning like this, but it does work quite nicely. And the, yeah, it's generated the banana pattern on his bed, which I think is absolutely amazing and very cute. So all we need to do is save that as an image. And then we can take that into a kid's book, add each page, you know, add some text, and it would literally take minutes to build out a kid's book full of these beautiful, consistent images. But it doesn't stop there either. Let's say you already have an image that you want to insert Barney into, or you want to create a new image and then insert Barney into that. We can do that as well. So we're going to go to the text to image tool, select the same style, and we're going to generate a fun background here. So I wanted to generate a really fun little fantasy landscape, and this one's quite nice. And let's say we wanted to put Barney into this image. All we would do is go to the insert character option. And so all you need to do is make sure the correct image is on your canvas, and then you just select the area that you want to insert your character into. So let's say we want to insert Barney here. You click this choose character button. We're going to click Barney the bear. And then we're going to describe this here. Now, each generation might just take a few seconds and then it will pop up here on the right hand side when it is ready. So we circled this purple area and we wanted to insert Barney the bear and it's given us four options. And so we can click on each one and select the option that we want. But as you can see, the character is really consistent with the character sheet. And the more kind of data that you can give design, the better it will be, especially from side on and from the back. For this one, we're gonna go with this option. So we're gonna download this, and then that can be added into our kids' story. But there's been a new release from design, which I just wanna share with you, and that is multiple characters. So originally you could just create, you know, a single consistent character, whereas now you can create multiple characters within these types of images. So let's say we're really happy with Barney there, but we wanna add a brown bear in, you know, maybe his dad. So I've already created that character, and all we're gonna do is do the insert character section. So we are just gonna select the prints there, and we're gonna replace the prints with this brown bear. So what we wanna do is select the character, which is this old bear. Gonna keep it quite straightforward, and we've put old bear side on, facing the left, so facing the middle, and let's see if it works with him laughing. That might have to come in the character description, but we will see. So all we need to do is choose the one we want. I like this one. And we're gonna click it and put it onto the canvas. And then this is your final result. So the prints didn't really make sense for this story, whereas this one does. So now we are going to download this image. And there you go, that's how easy it is to create consistent characters and multiple consistent characters using design. So this character section here is crazily powerful. Definitely check it out for yourself. It will make creating things like kids books, consistent characters, you know, just to use within your other books, an absolute breeze. The results will be very high quality. And as you can see from these, you know, you can't really even tell that it's AI. And we're not trying to trick anyone here, but what we are trying to do is provide a fantastic experience. We want to provide that good customer experience for people on Amazon. We want high quality content, which is exactly what this gives. So that's how easy it is. And let's take a quick look at Barney the banana loving bear. So this was his character model at the beginning. This was him on a picnic, on a swing holding a banana with two brown bears to kind of show the difference between him and the other bears. This was him at school, him eating a banana while he's with other bears on a swing, in the pool. And as you saw me just generate in bed, with a banana sheet on there, just to emphasize how much he loves bananas. So this is an absolutely incredible tool. It's a fantastic way to make really, really high quality books, especially things like kids' books. And I'd highly recommend checking it out. If you wanna try out design for yourself, just click the link in the description below. And I really hope that you enjoy this consistent character tool. As I mentioned, I think it's an absolute game changer in the AI space. 
and I can't wait to publish some really fun kids books on Amazon super soon. So keep an eye out for Barney the banana loving bear and I'll see you in the next video.